What's up guys, Mike Pell, another episode of Doc Talk. It's been a little bit, I messed my phone up, I dropped it, and then I stepped on the screen. Uh, but now I'm back at it and I got a new, uh, new phone and we're back at it. Uh, hanging out on the dock today, just got back from a boat ride, hanging out with the family that uh, I spent a lot of time with uh, when I was younger as I was trying to ride a lot more. Uh, I met them through the board shop I was riding at and um, through them as a family I met this really cool kid who like was super stoked on my ride and super stoked on me like just as a person and we just connected on a different level um, and you know it's one of my good buddies. Uh, coincidentally he got caught up in uh, the lifestyle and he, um, not the water sports lifestyle unfortunately, um, and he ended up getting sick and passed away over the summer. Uh, so I've actually been connecting and hanging out with his uh, family a little bit more and I love them to death and I love that dude to death. I'm gonna try to find a photo and uh, put it up there. I, I got a few photos of him. He's also taken a handful of photos of me and you know just spent a lot of time with him. He's the same dude who's built, uh, who built the winch that you guys might have seen me do a lot of stuff on. Uh, so yeah, so today I'm just gonna do a quick little rundown um, about hanging out with family uh, on the water. That's really why everybody does it. Uh, till you get to a point where you just want to ride all the time and uh, then you start riding with uh, all kinds of people and you meet people like this out here and then uh, Bridget yeah you see see you just meet random people out here on the water and stuff like that and uh, then you make longtime friends uh, and those people turn into family at one point or another and uh, this is the same kind of deal so uh, yeah man uh, most people get into water sports hanging out with their family there whether it's their mom dad somebody's taking them out there and um, you know kind of introduce them I, I was kind of introduced as uh, to water sports on more of like a, like my parents were trying to connect with me type thing because I was kind of wild and I wasn't uh, I wasn't really meant to do this kind of stuff but we would uh, ended up riding with a couple people who just kind of got me hooked people who really took it serious and then from there I just I was infatuated with ever since um, so yeah, I was just saying, I, I went out here with uh, my boy's family and uh, they got into the life of being on the water and they're still out here with a brand new boat. Um, he wouldn't do an interview with me. I was trying to get him to do it, but some people just aren't camera people. Um, but I was gonna ask him what got you into the sport and his answer was my son. Uh, he said my son wanted to do it. He's seen it, was infatuated with the water. So he bought a boat and then uh, I remember he had an inboard outboard. It was like a Sea Ray 220. And um, yeah, so it was like 22 foot inboard outboard, uh, but they bought like all the dopest accessories, got a tower, uh, all kinds of fat sacks, but they put them all on like plug and play. And uh, believe it or not, for an inboard outboard, the wake was macking. And uh, me and my uh, me and my other buddy Mike, we we met him uh, kind of at the same time. He would come out and uh, man, we're just, dude, we'd send some some stuff out to the flats. We were working on like. Uh, big fives and sevens and stuff back when we were like teenagers it was really cool um, but dude ended up getting uh, an inboard got an MB and then uh, cool another dude over there running on the dock just do a lane just met him cool dude um, where was I at oh yeah so uh, they went got an inboard out or uh, got an inboard got an MB started running that for a little bit started hanging out with Mike Brendel and uh, you know just offering help here and there um, then he ended up selling uh, at boat shows and stuff like that for uh, Mr. Brandell and uh, or with him. And from there, they just kind of always been around. They he he helps uh, do the MB meetups. Um, so that was the second question I asked him: is what do you do for the sport? And he laughed and said, "I don't do much." But he's being very modest. The guy has like so much time invested in trying to help causes. Like anybody who has a cause whether it's like trying to get people out on the water or trying to feed people or anything, um, this dude is the dude to do it. And he's just, you know, great energy, great vibes all the way around. Um, they also, as a family, uh, they live a little bit north of Palo Alto. I'm not gonna give uh, away where they stay at, but um, every year on Christmas, they do, a, a, it's called Lights on Menorca. Their street is Menorca. Um, but they do like the flashing lights and stuff. You tune your radio to it and it goes all crazy. Like this dude spends all kinds of time <clears throat> raising money and uh, you know, putting on a show for everybody. It's really sick. And uh, so just good people all the way around. And uh, so like I said, he was being pretty modest, but the dude helps organize the MB meetups uh, for MB boats. Along with that, always sells products, got giveaways for everybody. Like every, that's the shirt I'm wearing right now. 
he hooked me up with it last time I was there. Also with food. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Don. Um, and uh, so now he's got a uh, 2018 24 foot MB and that thing is banging. I just went out there. The I was only at like 75 feet, but uh, the wake was, I was falling down from probably like 15 feet up. It, it, that's what it felt like anyway. Um, super fun, uh, good times, comfortable boats to ride in and uh, just good people all the way around. And uh, then I asked him one last question. I was like, well, like, why do you still do this? Or what, you know, and when it came down to it, what we talked about at the beginning, it's all about the family thing. He's like, he's like, I've just met so many people in this that like, this is what keeps me going or reminds me of my son and keeps keeps us on a, at a, at a heartfelt like tip, you know, like just, it feels right. And, uh, and like, dude, that's all I wanted. That's all only answers like that you should ever get from anybody else. If somebody's like, oh, I just, you know, I just really love to wakeboard and I'm going to be better than that guy and blah, blah, blah. Like that dude's not really in it for the right reasons. And uh, so in the same difference, you know, as the industry goes to a, another level and we are here riding this wave, uh, this is really where you'll see a lot of people, uh, like the people who I was just waving to, they've probably been doing this for 15 plus years and these guys bought an older boat so they could have it paid off and they could pay their fuel off and they go out and ride all the th throughout the week and on the weekends and stuff as much as possible and they just live uh, life out here on the water and uh, that's you know that's what we do it for and just you know good vibes all the way around so uh, that's Mike Pell another quick little episode of Doc Talk um, just you know make sure you get out there and uh, tell the people who you're riding with or whoever gives you a pull tell them thanks and just be stoked to be around these people don't take it so serious even though we be on and off the water so quick even if you only ride with like two, three dudes all the time, make sure you tell those people that like you appreciate their time and you know, for, because this is not like skateboarding. Like I, I love to skateboard and I love to drive cars. I could be out on my own and do my own thing. Uh, but I do love to wakeboard and being out here on this takes a lot of effort, a lot of people, uh, time and energy. Uh, along with that, a lot of monies, man. A lot of monies, a lot of dollars. But uh, got a rocket, man. Follow me uh, online. Check me out, Mike Pell. Uh, check me out on Facebook. Uh, you could also like, comment, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll be coming at you guys with another one soon. Thanks.